Yo folks, it's Taras, and in today's video, I want to talk to you about Proton Mail and specifically about filters and how you can use filters to automate your email inbox to make it cleaner and easier to use. So I got into using Proton Mail probably about four years ago now. Uh, I was very concerned about the privacy policy of using Google for my email and calendar and they with Google uh, they're using your data to profiteer off of they're you know sending you intrusive ads it's uh, it's just kind of something that I didn't want to be a part of anymore so I switched over to Proton probably started on the free version then upgraded my plan and you can see I've got my uh, email client here in my Brave browser, also very privacy centered. I've got my calendar. I've got a drive that allows me to securely upload and download files to the cloud. We've got uh, a couple of browser plugins here, uh, the Proton Pass, which is a password manager, as well as Simple Login. So that's uh, a nice little tool that lets you whip up an email address when you want to get uh, a password or a, sorry, uh, an email that you pass into uh, an email list, trying to get a little lead magnet for your email, but you're not really sure you want to give them your real email. So then you use simple login to uh, whip up something really simple. Uh, that you can spin up and get rid of when you need it. There's also the VPN. So this is a, a great little feature that lets you uh, browse the web securely. And in this case, I'm just connecting to Illinois because that's the fastest connection and your metadata is obfuscated, I would say, uh, in meaning that instead of seeing where I'm connecting from in my machine here in Minnesota, I've gotten my data anonymized with other people who are co connecting to the internet through this server in Illinois. And uh, yeah, you can connect to other countries and that'll let you bypass some uh, digital restrictions, letting you uh, browse the uh, internet sites or uh, stream media that you might otherwise not be able to stream uh, here in the States. So a lot of cool services, but let's get into filters. So another thing that I follow is uh, the getting things done method. I forget exactly who that's by but uh, kind of in the autonomy course, Richard Grove uh, suggested that as a way to clean up clutter. So it's something that I've implemented uh, both with my mail coming in and email. And that lets you just have a coherent inbox. And you can see I've got not quite inbox zero. I've got one email here from my buddy uh, Drew that I'm working with, uh, but really, I don't have a whole bunch of clutter in my email. And so what's happening is that things are going to spam when I don't need to look at them at all. And things that I do need to take action on, they go to this action folder. If I'm waiting for something, it gets to my waiting for folder. And then I've got all of these reference folders for various subjects. So. If I, I need to reference it, it's right there. And so the thing is that when you've got all of these emails coming in, it becomes really time consuming to micromanage. Okay, this needs to go here. I need to make a corresponding entry in my budget. So I'm trying to automate that. So it's not as time consuming. And today I found out about a, fil uh, a feature called filters that gets me at least halfway there in terms of I don't necessarily get everything into 
integrated into my other software, but it does get me my emails going to the right place in my folders. So let's take a quick look at how you spin up a filter. Let's see here. Actually, I'll uh, go over to my events area. So I just bought uh, a ticket to go see Tool later in the year here in Minnesota. So that'll be fun. And so I've got emails coming in from Ticketmaster, right? From Eventbrite. And so what would I want to do to automate these sorts of emails coming in? I can go in and hit this filter button here. And I kind of tend to hate these um, icons, these hieroglyphics, but when they make sense, okay, I can roll with it. So the, the filter icon, it looks like a funnel and we've got this hotkey, which is F. So if we just hit our F button, that'll get us our filter. So you can, in this case, filter on your subject. In this case, I want to do it just on my sender. Everything that is coming from Ticketmaster, I want to send to my fun events area. So we'll call this Ticketmaster. So this sender contains Ticketmaster. Okay. And we can just go ahead and insert that to confirm that's what we want to do. And you can make this much more complicated if you want to. Uh, you can change it. You can add some conditions, ands, all sorts of stuff, right? So I'm just exploring this. This is not the first time I'm using it, but I think it's going to be a cool feature. Okay. Actions, we can add in a label if we want it to. In this case, I don't think that's necessary, but we do want to move it to our fun uh, events area. And in this case, uh, I'll just go ahead and mark it as red since I know I already bought these tickets. It's not a surprise to me. Uh, if you've got a lot of email coming in and you need to like highlight what's going on, you can use the starred mark to have it stand out. I don't need that right now. So we'll go ahead and save it and we're set. Now let's see if I have a way to access my filters. Okay. So if I hit that button, uh, the gear button so that that's kind of like a settings. Okay, these are my folder settings and now I'll navigate again to my filters. And I have all my filters here if I want to edit it at all. So my PayPal, uh, if I have something coming in from PayPal, the action is I move it to my budget folder. And this is going to help to keep your email nice and clean and you know where everything's going, I think it's great. So let me know what you think. Have you tried ProtonMail before? Uh, what do you value out of an email client? And is this filters feature helpful to you? Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. Thanks. Peace.